I'm Liz Larson. And I'm Bill McKenna. And together, we created the Cogno Movement System. And we'd like to welcome you to the New Life Perspectives radio show. Where we're going to be sharing with you tools, tips, and ideas that are going to change your life. Hello, hello in UK Health Radio Land. I'm Liz Larson, and I'm here with my friend, Bill McKenna. Hey, Bill McKenna. And we are the host of the New Life Perspectives radio show, and we're also the team that created the Cogno Movement System. And today, we're going to let you in on a behind-the-scenes convo that Bill and I have been having. We are just a few days away from our biggest event of the year, the Cogno Conscious event, which is really big for Bill and I personally. You know, we teach these things, we put them on and and we are the guides for it, but man, does it affect us personally. It sure does. Imagine being in a room of people that is for four solid days that the entire group is releasing the shame of a lifetime the guilt of a lifetime, the blame of a lifetime, the fears of a lifetime, the anger, the, the uh, right up the scale of, of understanding. And with that, there is so much energy released. And we're talking about doing this like it's not emoting. It is done through the nervous system. So this is the, the nervous system. Basically, th- that's your nerves. And electricity runs through your nerves. And we basically have figured a way, myself and Liz Larson figured a way out to cause all of these experiences of life and these thought patterns to basically be processed. And... Yeah. And it's not, I like the way you said it. It's not just emoting. We're not doing visualization. We are directly accessing what most people call the subconscious. We're getting in there and physically readjusting. I always call myself and our practitioners a technician because it's like getting in there under the hood and readjusting the wires that's what we do. We go right in through the body and access these, this electric electricity, like Bill said, the hormones, the chemicals and change that so that functionally you get like an upgrade, like your cell phone upgrades, you know? So you upgrade every time that you do one of these sessions. Well, at Cogno Conscious, we're doing, um, session after session, after session, after session. I mean, it's probably eight or nine in a day for four days (laughs) and addressing the biggest uh, emotions in people's lives, but it's not just the emotions. It's actually the functional way their body works around a subject like shame, like fear, like desire, like courage, like acceptance and willingness. And most people hearing my voice are like, what in the heck is she talking about? What do you mean my body has a way that it functions around willingness? It does. It has a way that it handles that particular concept with a reaction in the body, the way the body feels. And then the way the body feels affects the way the brain thinks. And then all of that affects how you act And then beyond that, it affects how your life works out. And that's why we really do say that you can access the universe. You have full access to the universe when you learn this tool of accessing your subconscious through your nervous system. You can interact with the electricity of the universe. You can change time. (laughs) You can change timelines. You shift reality. And I'm not joking, you guys. When you are able to change something fundamental about the way your body works around an emotion, the world looks like a brand new place. And so for this reason, 
when Bill and I do this event, it's a big deal for us. And like Bill said, you're in the room with everybody doing at the same time and electricity moving and, you know, emotions move as well, but physical bodies are actively in the process of changing. It's a wonder to watch, but you cannot help but be affected by it. So we kind of wanted to share some of that with everybody. It's yeah, it is. Um, it's amazing. Imagine, imagine that. You know what, Liz? Liz is talking about is. I know you're listening to this right now, and you're like, um, "What the heck?" I, I, you know, it's uh, doesn't seem feasible to access. You know, like the universe through my nervous system. How does that? What do you mean? That doesn't even make sense. Well, there's some real science behind this. This is not, you know, it sounds kind of almost woo-woo, right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm accessing the universe. Well, it turns out there's some new scientific studies that, you know, the center of your brain, there's like these antennas and they discovered the people that are super psychic and telepathic and this sort of thing that have these extra gifts it turns out that they have um, these antennas. It's a physical piece of flesh that vibrates and, and picks up signals. Now, if you're really healthy, what happens is, meaning healthy, what Liz is talking about is releasing all of these emotions that keep our electrical system constrained. And all of a sudden now we've released what was constraining that electrical system. And where does it flow? Where does that flow? Well, guess what? It's your brain. It's your entire body as well. So it's everything's affected, but those little antennas get an increase in voltage, real voltage. So it's, it is really an amazing thing. And, you know, this is, again, I, I realize how I, I sound right now when you're listening to this around the globe. But in reality, Liz, isn't it true? I mean, what we see after the fact of people going through an entire four days of letting go of literally everything that held you down in your whole life, you know, the time that something happened when you were a kid and you almost even forgot about it. You know, um, the technique that we have, you actually end up releasing that. Well, yeah. In fact, you know, you were saying, you know, after the fact, but realistically, we see these things happen during the seminar, even sometimes day one, a person will be working on a, a massive subject in their life. And, you know, most subjects in our lives include other people, <laughs> not just ourselves. They're about people in our lives that loved us or didn't love us, hurt us or didn't hurt us, you know, left us or stayed with us, that kind of a thing. And we see while they're working on that issue in that moment, something changes. They get a text message or an email from the exact person that they're doing the session on saying, by the way, I, I think you're wonderful. And I just want you to know that I love you very much. And I'm so proud of you. And we'll say, oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, have they said that to you before? Is that the kind of relationship you have? And the, the person in the class will be like, absolutely not. I've never gotten an email or a message, text message like this before, or a phone call with a voicemail. So this is why we say that you have access to the universe because that other person in the relationship, they're not there. We're not working on them. Nobody has done a thing to them. It's the person in the class is working on themselves on the subject. And then that signal goes out through the ethers and affects the other person. And then what we see is that these relationships start to bloom and grow and become some of the best relationships in that person's life. Where walking into the seminar, they would have told you you're a liar. That's not possible. 
So from my perspective, it really looks like a shift in reality. It looks like a change in the universe. And then there's the psychic thing. (laughs) So what we see is, and we didn't know this early on, you know, Bill and I had no idea. We just thought it was a really good idea to help people clear out these big chunks in their life. You know, for some people, shame runs their whole life and keeps them incarcerated in their own life, jailed by shame. It it limits everything about their life or fear or anxiety. For some people, it's really courage and they're half in, half out, half in, half out. I want to do it. I can't do it. I want to do it. And they never get, they never get past that level. But wherever you are, it'll keep you stuck at that place. So we have people who come and and they they're there for that reason. They're going to clear out the shame of their life with their fear. And then after the seminar, we get a call and say, hey, uh, I tend to be having a whole heck of a lot of what feels like synchronicity to me. Um, Crazy. Crazy stuff. One of my favorite ones was really about boots. One of our uh, senior practitioners, Annette, this was early on in co- when we were doing Cogno Conscious, and she went home, and Annette's a boot girl. If you ever meet her, she's got some good boots. And she goes back home to New Jersey, and she sees this pair of boots, but, you know, they're probably going to be too expensive. So she kind of goes and looks, and they don't have the size, or, or, you know, it's too much, and she thinks, I, I would really like to have those boots. And I don't remember this story a word for word, but I remember that she came back to the store. And because she thought, you know, I'd really like to have those boots. The boots were on sale. Was it like 50 or 75% bill? Oh, it was a crazy, it was a crazy discount. And Dude. by the way, she went there and they literally did not have her size and they were full price. And it was a you know a few days later, and you know she asked for him. She was going to buy him anyway, you know, like. And he was like, "Oh, but you know the little struggle financial, you know, over the financial decision, you know, like you know how it is when you see some really good shoes and you're like, oh my god, how did they ever get that much money for those? But anyway, yeah, it was it was it was well, absolutely okay. hysterical because on the shelf was her size, severely discounted. Yeah. And she has an, uh, an odd size, a size that she couldn't find all the time. And it was, that was the only pair in the store was that pair in her size discounted. Like, you know, she said, I wanted them. And so I got them in exactly the way I wanted. Now that's a, a, a little one. Another one is um, people who go home and then all of a sudden they realize that they're getting downloads of information guidance, if you will, they feel like they now have um, a kind of a, an extra sensory perception. They know what's going to happen next. And not only that, they have the ability to kind of guide what happens next. One of our person ended up going home and, and actually healing an amazing uh, and significant illness in their body. Other people find that they are having premonitions about things. We got a call from one of our uh, practitioners last year who came to Cogno Conscious and she had had a significant premonition and then witnessed it happen. And she was concerned about the whole thing. And evidently she didn't hear the warning about you might go home with psychic abilities. (laughs) So we asked the question like, uh, do you think there's any chance that maybe you've opened some psychic abilities. And she goes, well, yeah, actually, in fact, (laughs) and then she goes on to tell us more of these kinds of things that she is now uh, having premonition about, and then it actually occurring. So very cool stuff. Uh, One of the stories that that I love, a woman who had um, basically a lot of suppressed things around her business she uh, uh, she was um, basically in a business that uh, was in media and and um, wanted to be global and um, she ends up you know um, can't figure out 
why is life so hard? Why is it so hard to, you know, uh, get to the next level? And uh, she discovered a hidden memory during the uh, during the process, and this hidden hidden memory had to do with. I mean, she literally forgot she had been attacked, not once, not twice, three separate times by individuals when she was young. And the result of that was uh, she had to terminate the pregnancies. And she had completely, she was, you know, pretty angry and she thought, oh, I'm, you know, just a generally angry person, but she didn't realize it was the shame. It was the shame around it. And we ended up processing the shame around that. And with that, her anger went away. And not only that, so here's where, here's where it gets bizarre is out of the blue, she gets a call from a global, not not just you know local media out, uh, but a, the the owner of a global brand who was like, "Hey, I want you on. We're going to do a series." I mean, how do you do that? How do you do that? Going from you know having so many problems to all of a sudden, boop, I'm free and I'm global. You know, you know, you know. I don't, I don't uh, promote. Uh, Cogno movement as the um, fame creator, but it's whatever is in your life that is of interest to you. And if it's fame, if it's money, if it's relationships, if it's psychic ability, which is natural, it just occurs, you know, it just, it just occurs. And, and so the release of all of this pent up stuff that we forgot about. We've got to take a break here real quick. UK Health Radio. Be right back after this. Stay tuned. UK Health Radio. The station that makes you feel good. UK Health Radio. The station that makes you feel good. All right, and we're back. Oh gosh, I had to cut it off there at a, at a critical time, but you're back. And anyway, Liz and myself off camera. You know, we talk all the time, and and we really enjoy um, our our work because we get to discover the most amazing things. And we're talking about the discovery that we can access the subconscious through the physical body. This is the most amazing thing. It turns out that subconscious expresses itself through the physical body. And guess what the subconscious is connected to? The universe. And, And this is a connection. This is an electronic connection. You know, let's talk about the universal consciousness just for a second. If people think we're out of our minds, you know, there's um, such a thing as the morphic field. Rupert Sheldrake talks about that. And long before there was the internet, this phenomenon would happen where all of a sudden an invention would be created on one part of the world, but at the same time, two or three other parts of the world, the exact same invention pops up. The sewing machine was one. Radio was one. Um, electricity is another. And, and light bulbs was another. I mean, the list goes on and on. And it's things that we don't even imagine. That, But TV was another one. That all of a sudden around the world, the idea is sort of provided from who knows where. And it's in the field. And all of a sudden, it becomes reality. Meaning, you know, all of a sudden TV is a reality where five years before, no, it wasn't. And most of the population was like, you're crazy. That's a magic box. (laughs) You know, 
cell phones. Think about that, how all of a sudden everybody had apps and an iPhone. Or it wasn't iPhone. It was apps on their phone. I remember thinking, apps, that's stupid. What am I going to do with apps on my phone? I, and now I can't live without it. I don't remember what it was like before. But before we had this electricity, there was this phenomenon, which is a, we're all connected to this morphic field. There's energy that passes between us and around us and and circles the globe realistically. So this is the kind of thing that we're talking about, that when you change the kind of way that you can connect to that global consciousness, you change the consciousness, you change your reality. So it's kind of like this. It's like being on um, the super high speed internet versus, you know, the dial up one. <laughs> yeah, all the noise. You know, nobody, does anybody remember that? Yeah. Yeah. All the sound. Yeah. So now when you are, have your electricity flowing, your perspectives are shifted radically. You're no longer imprisoned by that feeling that keeps you stuck. You now have greater and greater access to that overarching field. And you also can easily change things at a distance. I, I just saw something cross your mind, Bill. What is it? Oh my God. I Well, I got to ask you, I, I'm going to ask you this question because I know the audience is probably thinking, maybe something that we're thinking. Liz, has there been a time in your life when you invented something in your head and then then a few months later, you saw the product that you already knew the the great thing and you're like, hey, damn it, that's my invention. Oh my gosh, like a thousand, thousand times. Do you know uh, the book from by Elizabeth Gilbert? That's what it's about, Big Magic is about this, what we're talking about, exactly what you're saying, that an idea will come to you. And if you don't go through with it, it'll move on. It'll, somebody else will receive it. Right. Right. So my gosh, you know, like if you're listening to this right now, I'm, you know, you might've had that experience. You already got your antenna vibrating right but like liz says i love the way liz put that you know the the dial up versus mm -hmm. having a high speed connection right wouldn't yeah. you like to have a high speed connection i know that old waiting waiting and uh, timing out you know um yeah i mean nowadays we go nuts when our internet connection slows down oh my gosh it's like the end of the world you can't believe it you can't imagine that at one point in time you lived with that every day and that was cool. That's yeah. super slow connection. But that's what it feels like in life is that super slow connection. When you're not able to move forward, so many people tell us we're stuck. I'm stuck. I can't, I can't in my life. I can't do the thing. I can't find the husband. I can't sell the business. I can't buy the house. I can't get the Porsche. And yet we've seen all of those things happen after an event like this because the, the prison doors are unlocked. You're now high speed connected and you have access to direct. It's like you have GPS to the thing you want. Yeah. Or it Here's a better way. Actually, the truth is it has GPS to you. Have you heard of those drones where they come home at the end of the night? You know, the drone can go around, you program it, it flies, it does a thing and it comes back to you. That's what it's like. The thing that you can give your attention to with the clearest uh, uh, pathway, you know, you're not wanting it. You're not standing there with your hand out hoping. You're just standing there with your hand out. You've ordered it and it's showing up. That's what it's like. It's like the drone, you know, following its GPS right back to you. And the thing that you want just shows up. It really does feel like magic. Yeah, it really does. You know, you know, and um, you know, I don't know if uh, this will resonate with people or not, but but one of the things, kind of on a really basic level, because so many people are suffering with exactly what you're saying, but it, it kind of feels like, kind of like 
um, life's hard and you, yeah. and you, you know, you, I can't, you know, practical things to get stuff done. I got to paint the fence outside. I got to pull the weeds, you know, the play, you know, the plants need watering and I, and I just don't seem to get to it and get it done, whatever be the case. Well, there's an amazing thing that happens when your inner, you literally your electricity in your body begins to move. There's a bunch of things that I guess happen when we have really tough experiences, traumas, right? And these traumas can be in our life very early, but it's never dealt with. You know, hey, I got to move on. The person died. I had a, I got beat up. I got this. I got that. You know, I got fired. I got this. I got that. You know, and then it just sits there, you know, you might find yourself occasionally talking, thinking about it from time to time. But, but once these things are, are actually, um, when they're, you know, processed, all of a sudden it's like a cloud lifts. You know, that's the way I experienced it was like a cloud lifting. It was like, oh my God, there's a cobweb. I never even saw it before. And you're cleaning up, you're, you know, have you, you know, have you guys ever seen that movie? What was that one? I, I love that movie. It was Limitless. Did you guys remember that? The one where he takes the pill and all of a sudden he's I limitless. Really that pill. And <laughs> you, really you, that <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I just thought that was an awesome movie. Um, you know, and, uh, or, or maybe it was, maybe it was the yeah, limitless. No, it's limitless. Um, the pill. I think yeah. it was limitless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Lucy and all that, that movie. You know, when you watch that guy who took the pill and and the very first thing, you know, he's kind of like l- not going well in his life, living in a in living in, in dregs. Anyway, he takes the pill and all the first things he does is he cleans the kitchen and yeah. he organizes everything super fast, right? And then and then it, and then bit by bit, you know, a higher percentage of him, him coming online, and and the whole movie is about that. Love that movie, and really, that is exactly what you start to experience right away. That was a very true movie, yeah. you know, about your your um your neurological mental uh, capability. It's true because you get the energy back, and that is the thing. That's why we say. When you can access the direct access to the subconscious or the nervous system, you gain access to the universe is because you actually get your energy restored to you. Now you have the physical horsepower to move about the planet and do the things you want to do. When you don't have enough energy, you don't have access to anything, not the vacuum, you know, not the exercise program you want to go on, you know, not the, the, uh, the shopping to get yourself a new wardrobe. If you're you know going to start dating, you lay on the couch, you watch TV and you eat popcorn because that's how much energy you have. The universe is not available to you. And so your universe becomes very, very small for many people. It's the inside of their house and some sweatpants, you know, because they're so drained and so their energy is so caught up in running these heavy, heavy, heavy programs of their past. You know, the thing is that I uh, have been so amazed at is how many of the things that people walk into Cogno Conscious with, with that are the truth. My mom hates me. You know, um, I've been abused. I have no money. I have no prospects. And they turn out to be a damn lie. <laughs> In the end, the person walks out with, wow, you know, none of that was actually accurate. I mean, there were parts of it that kind of happened to me, but not the way I thought. And, you know, the person that was involved in that, they they didn't do what I thought they did, or at least they didn't mean what I thought it meant. You know, people see that their life is actually different than they thought it was, but This nervous system, this part of the body that keeps you in fight or flight, holds you in that old idea. Some people call it a paradigm. So when they walk out the doors of cognoconscious on, you know, any given day of the four days, 
all of that is no longer true, which creates an availability of the universe that was not there before. It's like it didn't exist. And now you walk out the doors and you're like, oh my God, I have this new relationship with my family member. Actually, you know what? I just sold my business that was for sale for 10 years and nobody put an offer on. And during the event, somebody put an offer on it, right? I now have the availability to maybe have a mini series. You know, the world opens up and that's what it looks like, whether it's figurative or real, it looks very real to the person because now the universe has more availability to them, more things, more stores. It's like coming from my small town that has like three stores and going to a super mall. That's what it's like. Availability is what happens to you in your universe. And I think that's the most amazing thing, but it's really a function of the amount of energy you have. That's how Bill started this conversation that I took down a rabbit hole is the energy, the horsepower to get up and go feels limitless. It it really does. It does. It does. And, and, you know, um, these, um, whether it's really fears of the future, some of us live in the future or some of us live in the past, but the net effect, right, is I'm no longer there. Why am I not there like in the future anymore? Because it used to be, I'll be happy when, mm-hmm. oh no, I'm afraid of, uh-oh, right? The uh-oh is a lot of what's going on right now in the world. There's a lot of people going, "Uh uh-oh, right? And in their minds, and the media is pushing you in that direction, right? One thing after the next. So it, it allows you to start to let go and to be more here and now and to be more productive. Okay, so we got another break right now. Uh, UK Health Radio, Take it away. UK Health Radio. The station that makes you feel good. UK Health Radio. The station that makes you feel good. Okay, and we're back. Uh, You know... Here's something I want to share with everybody about this, that when everything changes, uh, everything changes. (laughs) So people will say, I would just want to change everything in my life. I want to overhaul my life. So you come to an event like Cogno Conscious, which literally changes the way your body sees the world, sees the universe. The way you perceive life looks different. The whole world looks different. The colors look different. I remember thinking after the first one, oh, Oh, this is what the world is like. I, I really did. It was like, you know, taking an escalator to another dimension is what it felt like. And a lot of people describe something similar, not an escalator exactly, but that it feels like you walked into another reality because everything looks different. You can see things differently. You perceive things differently. But then it can feel like life goes off the rails a little bit. Because when everything changes, it has to change. And I remember uh, one of the gals that had had an amazing transformation during, we spoke with her a couple of weeks later and she said, oh my gosh, you guys, it feels like life is absolute chaos. I don't know what happened. So we thought, okay, what, what did happen? And we got to talking to her about it. And she'd gone home and her business Um, was about to sell. She's the one who the business was actively selling. And there were inspectors that had showed up and some of them were jerks. And she said, I just couldn't believe that I walked into that. I was expecting to walk into, you know, this brave new world. (laughs) Well, she did. But the way she handled it, she said before she would have walked into that and freaked out and really probably started a fight with one of the inspectors, which would have been Beth. She said she walked in and handled it like a diplomat. She smoothed smoothed everybody, smoothed, I didn't say that word, and made friends, and it ended up gorgeous. But she hadn't realized 
that that had happened to her. She's like, oh yeah, I handled that real well. And she said, you know, in the past, I would have gone home with my hair on fire and my family would have been real unhappy about that entry. It would have been a hot, we call it coming in hot. And she said, I just had a happy, wonderful evening with my family. Now that's different. So it doesn't really mean that things are not going to look hairy sometimes. It means you're going to be able to handle it in a different way. And and some people, you know, want a different job. Well, you either quit a job or you get fired by a job. Some people get fired. You know, if you say you want to change everything, things are going to change. Right. Yeah, that happened to me. It was my last job. Right. You know, I'd spent my life in high tech, you know, and and anyway, right? I did the, you know, wanted everything to change. I didn't really like it, right? I really, I really um, enjoyed uh, Cogno Movement and what Liz and myself had created with Cogno Movement. And I mean, it's so enjoyable from the get-go of helping people to make change and making change for ourselves. Anyway, bottom line is, you know, after the event, you know, what happens knock, knock, you're fired. You know, it's like, oh no. Well, it, you know, it was fine. You know, it was just fine. You know what? It worked out. And I can't tell you how much I love uh, doing this work. It's a, it's an absolute pleasure to help people all day. And I, I certainly didn't feel that way. You know, it wasn't resonating because it wasn't resonating anymore. It's like, um, you know, like tuning forks, if it doesn't resonate, they have the same tuning fork. One will resonate another, you know, or the, the certain note on the guitar will resonate the other guitar. But once that stops, that stops. And it stopped for me. So that was a very, a very interesting experience. Liz? It's true. I mean, we say that cog movement helps you become who you always, uh, who you came to the planet to be. And when you raise your consciousness level, you get in line with who you came to be real fast. I know uh, the business, uh, one of the businesses I had before this, it was not the right thing. And it was great money. I got chewed up and spit out (laughs) because I was not doing what I needed to do here. And I, you know, was working at that time to also raise my consciousness. And, and it was other things than cognitive was long before cognitive movement, but it does happen. So um, chaos can ensue. We don't want to scare anybody away with that. But when you ask for radical change and you reach the consciousness level equal to that amazing change, Everything moves very, very quickly and it can feel abrupt. So you want to be prepared for that. You want to decide who do you want to be after the event? Now, Bill and I know better now (laughs) and we have people prepare for this. Who do you want to be after? What does that look like? What do you want to know? What do you want to have? What do you want to do? Where do you want to be? We have them look at that and formulate that. How would you go there? We have them experience it in advance so that it's not a shock when that happens. People can line up and get ready for that. You know, one of our practitioners, Katie Wrigley, has shared the story many times. And this happened after a Cognitive Conscious event. She had a broken body. She had no relationship. Um, She was moving. She was fighting with a friend. She hated the job she was in. And within about six months, she left that job, you know, started healing her body, uh, started her own business within about, I think it was nine months from there. She started a brand new relationship. Like literally everything changed. She had to move through very quickly, um, shifting her life. But what she did was she stayed out in front of it. She kept using cognitive movement to adjust to the new level. See, this is the thing. You don't just get somewhere and end. You keep ratcheting up and up and up. Well, as your life expands and grows, you have to meet that energy level. And that's what she did. I mean, out of everybody that we know, she has changed everything the most, the fastest. But she really did it with a laser focus. And she would check her body. Am I uncomfortable with this new change? 
And she would access her own subconscious or get help with a practitioner or come back to cognoconscious and make those adjustments so that she had the energy. She was no longer a prisoner of how she felt the discomfort, the stuck, the angry, the afraid, the frustrated. And she would meet the new level that had to be, she had to get to the new level to meet the new challenge and to surpass it. And she continues to do that. Most of us now continue to do that. So it's about managing that consciousness level, that energy level, your expectation, and the new availability to a whole universe. It's like being a kid in the candy store. You can overeat the candy (laughs) unless you know how to manage your, you know, the intake. So I just wanted to share that because it is a funny phenomenon the things that can happen that feel like chaos. Some of those things are uh, losing time. Yeah. That happened to my daughter and I a number of times. <laughs> really absolutely losing time, ending up somewhere where we didn't intend to end up. Um, time started to bend very quickly after that. It was something that we had to adjust to and learn how to manage time. And, and it's shifting very rapidly for us. That's one of the things that was created after the first cognitive conscious for us. And we had to learn how to live with that and live in it and utilize it. Now we think it's pretty cool, but at the time it was a little shocking. You know, you know, people are listening to this. They're like, um, like what the heck, you know, what, what do we, what, 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 you Mm -hmm. know, bending time. Well, I got to tell you that this, this phenomenon that Liz is talking about is that, and beyond. And it's natural. It's so very, very natural. And if you're listening to this right now, I want you just to think about this for one second. And that is, imagine if all of the guilt in my life and all of the blame was gone, how would I feel? Now, how would it feel if all the shame, all the worry, all my anger, all my resentments, all of my despair, all all of these guilt, grief, all of it, humiliation. I literally did not feel it anymore. What would happen if you didn't feel bad about you? You know, you might have done something, right? All of us, heck, you're listening to this. All of us done did something, right? And what? how would you feel? How would you feel if that was the case? Just imagine that for a second. It sounds really kind of bizarre. But as it turns out, what Liz is talking about, the very first thing is that you're going to be standing up straighter and your body's going to work better. We know this from... We have tests to actually test the voltage in your body. And this device called a BioWell actually tests like a, they call it a joule, which is like a calorie of electricity. And we see jumps of like 50% in the voltage in the body and balancing it. It's really incredible. But there's this other phenomenon that Liz is talking about on these, well, you know, in the East, they call it a Siddha, you know, like a a psychic gift. And um, is it, I don't know if everybody's familiar. You know, the guy that bends spoons, Yuri Geller, you heard of him before? Yeah. He had a lot of this. And, and, you know, I I want watched a wonderful special on Gaia.com and it was a special, uh, it was under the legends, like his, you know, final interviews for his life. And he talked about that he was walking in New York and he was heading somewhere. And, and within an instant, he teleported and slammed through the guy's living room, um, the window, the screen onto the porch. He had a screened in, windowed in porch. And he literally trans he he actually teleported and busted through these just crash. And the guy, you know, he's he was heading there, but
but he was thinking about it and he was at this elevated state and he he obviously was out of control out of control so it was a, a shocking experience but it really happened and they ended up showing the the broken window and the whole thing and the you know but what we're talking about is that there are you know these other realities that are that are really just all accessed through a higher voltage in the body through um uh the absence of feeling all of those negative things and actually feeling really good and with that you know knowing who's going to call it's just natural it's just natural you know having having dreams that are are um predictive you know instead of a nightmare you're actually having a great dream predicting something really good so yeah it's really you know what i guess in a word it's fun it's, it's fun, fun right it's fun but you know what that sounds fun to weirdos like us bill mckenna and there's other of you weirdos out there who this sounds like a lot of crazy fun too but you know what i was just thinking for some of us and probably it's been us on at some point in our life too. A simple thing like having enough self-esteem to go for the job you want or to go for an audition or to ask someone out, to simply wake up every day and feel okay with who you are, that might be the goal. For some people, that might be the unreal thing they never thought could happen for them. And that happens too. That happens as well. You know, a lot of people, Bill likes the term self-love, like that you can actually feel your own value and your own worth, which is seems like a foreign thing to some people. The idea of just being lovable by someone else might seem so foreign to you right now that you're thinking, what are these crazy people talking about psychic abilities? I just want to be able to get up and, and go out into the world and feel accepted. Those things happen too. They're sort of integral. And to us, we kind of gloss by them like they're mundane, but they are absolutely at the core of life changing for so many people. One of the people who attended our Cogno Conscious last year, she really wanted to feel healthy and be healthy. And she realized that there was a level in her body, and it was a big one, that felt like she would be outside of the tribe of her family. Because they all had health problems. This is what we do. These are our things. We go to the doctor and our family all has health health problems. You know, that's not a, a thing that's logical that you want. But she discovered as we did the work that for her, that was the, the boundary that you don't cross. So having a healthy body, the idea that you can have one is foreign to some people. And that's that's one of those basic things that occurs during an event like this. You are let free of that prison real fast and the energy flows back in and you just have a natural love, not only for yourself, but for everything. And I think we've told the story a lot of times about some of our people leaving a Cogno conscious event and blessing everyone in the airport and, the, and even the drug dog, you know, they see the drug dog, they just feel this overwhelming overwhelming flow of love for everyone, including themselves. So those are some of the things that happen too. And we don't want to act like those aren't incredibly important because they really are. That is, that's true. You know, for me, you know, Liz, you know, this is going to sound ridiculous and, and, uh, you know, everybody, uh, since I was a child, you know, you got to love yourself, you know, and I was always like, what the hell does that mean? I don't even know. I didn't, I could not connect the dots until I started, oh my gosh, you know what? It's that, you know, the dog that you love, the child that you love, that feeling, it's that feeling, not a thought, but it's that feeling for you. And, and that dot connected and, and to be able to be in that state, the voltage in the body and the energy that you have. Imagine if you could just feel like you feel about you, that you feel about them. Now that is a high quality of life. 
And when you're in that state, the most amazing things happen. Um, so that one is a real gem. That's a real gem. And it helps you to really change your mind about other people too. You know, the people that are really critical in your life that you run into and you're like, oh my God, why, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they've got a little thing going on where they don't feel so good about themselves. Me, you know, who knows what it is, but, but you know what? When they really begin to, to feel that and, you know, they remove the, it's really about removing the blocks to get there. You know, like Rumi says, uh, uh, seek not to love, but remove the blocks to it. You know, yeah. you re- here blocks, we are. That's what we're doing. Speaking of blocks, Melvin McKenna, we've run up against a hard stop at the end of our show. We are past time. So, guys, we just want to thank you so much for being here with us. If you're anywhere in the world where you can get to San Diego before March the 23rd, we would love to have you. Um, get a hold of us at cognomovement.com, info at cognomovement.com. And for everybody else, if this inspired you to want to change something about your life, we want you to know it's possible. And also reach out to us at cognomovement.com and we will help you do just that. All right, Bill, thanks for being here with us. And we'll see everybody else on the flip side. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Thanks for being here with us on the New Life Perspective radio show. For more information or to find out more about the work that Bill and I do, please visit us at cognomovement.com or email us at info at cognomovement.com. See you again soon.